What's up, YouTube people? Blip Noir here, and doing something a little bit different today. So I realize over the years that I've picked up a couple subscribers on my channel, uh, mainly just from putting out trailers for each version of New Isle that I've been releasing. And I thought I'd actually talk about it today. Uh, not just put out a trailer every time I put out a new version of the map, because Lord knows I don't do that very often, and... Um, yeah, I'm going to give you a, a quick preview of 1.3 today, and yeah, I'm working on a 1.3. Don't know when it's going to be out yet. Um, it's just kind of a when I'm done, I'm done, I release it to the community sort of thing. But probably expect it in 2020 in the new year. Um, anyway, I'm going to take you through a little bit of what I've been working on since 1.2 got released back in August. Um, my next update is mainly going to focus on the peripherals of New Isle, so kind of the East Cliff area over here, um, and then I'm probably going to add a new town off of Highway 3 over there. Uh, so East Cliff I'm turning into a, a bit of an industrial area, so you'll see I've got the skeleton of a, a factory going on over here, um, and also a bit of a blighted area, so somewhere you really wouldn't want to go to at, at a certain part of the night. Uh, so you'll see I've added a liquor store over here, an abandoned motel, little homeless encampments under this uh, bypass, uh, and then an outlaw motorcycle club over here called the Hex Cherubs, um, and then a little scrapyard behind the outlaw motorcycle club. And this uh, overpass um, is actually an extension of Castle Road. So I kind of realized um, downtown doesn't really have many entrances to it so i figured i'd add a little overpass here on um, extend castle road and this is called the scarborough bypass because it by bypasses scarborough my kind of sketchy area from from the past um other updates you'll see i've added uh lighting around uh the streets as well so one of the things i don't like in New Isle in past versions is that I focused a little too much on torches. I used torches way, way too much on the exterior of buildings, so I've gotten rid of all of the exterior torches and just replaced them with street lamps instead. Uh, so you'll see Castle Road has been extended, put a little bit of streetscaping here as well, um, beautified Rich Park a bit. Um, over here I'm probably going to add a theater, so I've bulldozed this because that's what I do in New Isle updates, I bulldoze shit I don't like. Um, so I got rid of a few of the excess houses from Old Town and left this plot empty here to add a building down the line. Um, also kind of expanded this area around here, just made it a bit more accessible and open airy. Uh, I've added a little park next to Old Town over here. And then this building is residential and has a pet store down at street level. Uh, you'll also see in the distance I've started adding a new skyscraper, so that's kind of my style is um, I basically just take stone or any other sort of material, usually stone, uh, stack it up uh, a number of floors, see how it looks in the skyline, and then detail from there. So that one there, uh, I destroyed a, a previous residential building, and it's probably going to be another residential building that I'm going to throw up over there. You'll also see that I got rid of the townhouses over here uh, near Mount Pleasant Hospital Station. Also didn't like those, and that's usually what I do in New Isle. I, I find things I don't like and then I change them. Um, I also listen to community feedback, so if you're one of the many people who hassled me about adding schools in 1.2, then way to go. It's mainly because of you that I added those. I mean, it was a, an idea that I had kicking around here and there for a few years, but it's really community feedback that kind of pushed me to add that because so many of you use New Wild to role play with. Um, so expect a few other schools. I'm probably going to destroy this hospital as well. I'm not really fond of it. It's been around since 2011 and I just know I can make something better. Uh, other than that, I'm thinking of also adding additional towns, like I mentioned before, connecting them through the railway so not Everybody's going to be funneled in through Union Station in the downtown core. Um, lots of people have asked for stuff like military camps, so uh, maybe I'll add that as well. Maybe a zoo. I'm thinking logging camps, mining camps, things like that. Things that just 
kind of happen outside the main city because I've built out New Isle a lot and there needs to be stuff to do outside of it as well. Um, other than that, I don't know. Uh, leave your comments below and I promise I will read them and take your feedback into consideration because, I mean, the community's done so much with this map and it's only gotten as good as it is because so many people have checked it out and taken the time to give me feedback on it. Um, so this is just a short preview of 1.3. If you like this sort of content, if you like me just talking about the map, showing you what's happening in future updates, uh, like and subscribe and comment below. Um, really, the content is up to what the community enjoys. And if you've enjoyed checking out 1.3 and a couple things that I, I've done since releasing 1.2, let me know. Thanks for checking out New Isle 1.3 and thanks for being a subscriber. Um, stay tuned for more and stay tuned for New Isle version 1.3 in 2020.